works. I mean, this is powerful. You see why the devil fights us all the time on this? Because, see, the devil doesn't mind you being religious. He, he, he doesn't mind you going to church and hanging out with the brethren. But just don't go out the four walls of the church. But Jesus, listen, when we go to church, we go to worship God, but we also go to church to be equipped, amen? You know the Bible says that God gave us five different ascension gifts of apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. And, and they weren't given for a show, or in other words, to entertain us. They were given to train us, to teach us, to impart to us what we need as born-again believers so that we can do what God's called us to do. And everybody's got something to do. But we need revelation of that something. We need revelation. We need identity. We need purpose, and we need direction. And I think for the longest time, people have been struggling with who they are. Well, guess what? Let me tell you who you are. You are a born-again believer. You are a child of God, but you are also being called to come into your sonship so that you can grab these keys that Jesus wants to give you so that you can make things happen with your faith. Isn't it good to know that you can actually do things with your faith? I mean, here, here's what here, I remember a long time ago. My wife and I, we were really struggling financially, and, um, and I needed a breakthrough, man, and, and it just seemed like things were so hard. And one day I was reading the book of Luke, and I came across this, this scripture that said, that, that, that God had given us authority. Remember when he sent the 70 out? They came back with joy and they said, they said, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through your name. And the Lord talked to them and he said, I've given you authority over serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing by any means shall harm you. That day that I read that, it was just Logos for the longest time because I just kept reading it over and over again, but it didn't really mean anything to me. But that day that we were, we were I mean, my wife and I, we were going through it, man. I mean, it was tough. And I was... I do what you should do when you're going through tough times. You should press into God. I mean, you don't run to the bar and have a drink. You don't, you don't run to the drug dealer and get some drugs. What you do, you press into God. Amen. You don't disconnect yourself from the church. You, you press into God and you do what you need to do so that you, don't you know that God wants to give you the answers and give you the solution? So what I did was I did, I did what you would do. I, I, I just ran to God. I said, God, this is not your will for my life. And I know that there's abundance for me, and I know that I, I, res I submit myself to you, and I resist this devil that's trying to take me out. And I went to God, and I was reading, just reading the Logos, just spending some private time with God. And all of a sudden, when I read that, bam, here comes the revelation. In other words, those words jumped off the page. It came right into my spirit, and I knew that I knew that I knew that I knew that I knew that, I knew that Jesus had given me authority just like he gave the 70, and that... I didn't have to tolerate that junk anymore that I could actually take control of my life with the word. See, that's the thing that you and I have to understand, that Jesus wants to give us this rhema. He said, if you abide in me and my rhema abides in you, then you shall ask what you will and it shall be given unto you. See, it's with rhema that Peter walked on the water. Hallelujah. And I believe God's going to give somebody that's watching today some rhema. This is what we need. We need that life-giving spirit in our life. Amen. Jesus told Peter, Peter, on this rock I shall build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. This same rhema belongs to you today. Jesus wants to build your life with the word. Jesus wants to help you too. Hallelujah. Listen, we got to share something with you, some announcements with you. But then when we come back, I'm going to pray for you, and I believe that God is going to open your eyes and help you right there where you're at. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. have a dream? Do you want to make a difference with your life? Do you want to change the world? I know you do. That's why you need the 1599 Geneva Bible to feed the reformer in you. This is the same Bible our forefathers brought with them to the new world. Now you can get this treasure for your donation of only $99 or more. Get equipped to change the world with the Geneva Bible. You need increase in your life. You need the Destination Increase Kit. With this kit, you'll get 10 hours of CD teaching that guarantees to put you on the road to increase. First up, you'll get Take Dominion in the Marketplace. In this CD series, Jonas offers you powerful teaching on what the Holy Spirit is saying about your authority in the marketplace. Are you living from paycheck to paycheck? Are you barely getting by? You need to get free from the bondage of world systems with Jonas's strategies for financial freedom. You need freedom from Pharaoh's financial system. 
With this kit, you'll also get no more empty pockets, so you won't have empty pockets anymore. You'll have more than enough when you discover keys and principles for victory over lack. Call now and you'll receive a free autographed copy of Jonas's hardbound book, Kingdom Living, How to Activate Your Spiritual Authority, for your donation of only $65 or more. You need to get in on the Kingdom Living Kit. The Kingdom Living Kit equips reformers like you to live in financial freedom. You'll get the 1599 Geneva Bible plus three CD series, including Take Dominion in the Marketplace, No More Empty Pockets, and Freedom from Pharaoh's Financial System. Act now and you'll get a free autographed copy of Jonas's hardbound Kingdom Living book. Learn how to take dominion with the Kingdom Living Kit. Check out the Voice Magazine holiday offer. The Voice is a Christian magazine that keeps you up to date on issues that impact you. You'll get a one-year subscription to The Voice magazine, plus a one-year subscription to give as a gift, and a free autographed copy of Jonas's Kingdom Living book. Call now. Don't miss out on these Kingdom Living resource offers. While supplies last, call 800-943-6490 or visit JonasClark.com today. Well, thank you for staying with us. Don't forget about The Voice magazine, okay? It's one of the greatest Christian publications there ever was. www.thevoicemagazine.com www.thevoicemagazine.com You'll be really blessed. Please tell all of your friends to, to pick up a copy of it. And also, let me know where you're watching from, okay? Send me a little email that says, that says Hey, Jonas, I'm watching from such and such, all right? Listen, this has been a powerful, powerful time today. I want to pray for you. I want to ask God to give you revelation right now. Watch this. When Peter stepped out on the water, why could he walk on the water when other people were afraid to walk out there? The reason he walked on the water was he had revelation. Had Peter, not, had Peter walked out of the boat, jumped on the water without revelation, he'd have sunk right to the bottom. But he had the revelation. Father, right now, we believe for revelation to come into these viewers right now. Lord, I thank you for their life. I bless them with everything that's in me, God. And Father, open their eyes right now, the eyes of their understanding, that they might know in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you. I'll see you the same time next week.